I am Anil Kumar. Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to interpret a real life situation and model it in the form of a linear equation. The example before us is a taxi charges base fee plus 75 cents per kilometer. A 10 kilometer trip costs $9.50. We need to sketch a graph to represent the above situation. We need to explain what y-intercept, x-intercept and the slope mean. And then find the cost for a 20 km trip. What distance can you travel for $17? So these are the four related questions. I'd like you to pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. Now here we are assuming that this relation is linear we are given a taxi charges base fee so we don't know what base fee is so we'll say let the base fee equals to b plus 0 0.75 per kilometer so we are given dollar rate of 0 0.75 per kilometer now rate corresponds to slope m so that is m the slope in our equation and we are given a 10 kilometer trip costs nine dollars fifty cents so this 10 kilometer is the distance so we are given a relation between distance and cost so we'll write distance as independent variable x and cost as dependent variable y and when we say 10 kilometer trip costs $9.50, it means the coordinate point is 10 and y is 9.50. So I hope all these parameters are absolutely clear. Now, when we sketch a graph, we know it is always in quadrant 1 since both the values are positive, distances are positive and cost being paid is also positive, right? So we have this y-axis here, x-axis. Along the y-axis, we'll have cost in dollars. And along the x-axis, we have distance. And that too in kilometers, correct? We don't know what the base is, but we know there is a point somewhere uh, which is, uh, so we'll, let me just draw a line here where we know that it passes through a point and this point is for us 10, 950. So 10 corresponds to the x value, right? So this is 10 for you and that is the cost. 950. So I hope the situation is absolutely clear. So if I say that y axis is the cost, x axis the distance, then we could write a relation y equals to mx plus b, where slope is given to us and that is equal to 0 0.75 x plus b. So we get this relation. Now, it is a question of finding B. Since we know the point 10, 950, we can find what B is. So for a distance of 10 kilometers, the cost is 950. So I could write this as 950 equals to 0 0.75 times 10 plus B. And so 950 take away, 10 times this will be 750, correct? Is equal to B and that is 2. So B is 2 and therefore we get our relation Y equals to 0 0.75 X plus 2. So I hope these steps are absolutely clear, right? So that is how you model the situation, right? So that is our model. So this is what we call as a linear model for real life situation. Correct. So we have done the first part and we found that this point should be $2. So that becomes our straight line. So we have done what is this sketch. 
Now, we could actually explain x and y intercepts and slope from this diagram. So let me do that part also on the same page. So what you see here is that we do not have any x-intercept. Correct? Since there is a base price, right? So the line does not really crosses the x-axis. We only have y-intercept, right? So which is $2. So that y-intercept means what here? y-intercept means the minimum cost. to hire taxi. So whether you go this distance or no, as soon as you sit there, you have to pay a minimum cost of two. That is the base fee, right? So the base fee is $2. That is what y-intercept means. You get the idea. Now, the slope. Slope is the rate. Slope means the rate at which every extra kilometer costs. Do you see that? So every kilometer after you start your journey will cost you 75 cents. So the first kilometer cost will be $2.75. Next kilometer will be 75 cents more, so $3.50 and so on. So I hope you have understood what is the significance of x, y intercepts and the slopes. We don't have any x intercept here since you have to pay an amount which is more than zero to begin with, right? Now, let's go to the next page and find the cost for 20 kilometer trip. So we'll actually start with this equation, y equals to 0 0.75x plus two and answer the other two questions. So let's continue. We just derived the linear model, which was y equals to 0.75x plus 2 for the given situation. And I hope you have also understood the meaning of x and y intercepts and also seen the graph. Now, let us answer question, third question, which is find the cost for 20 kilometer trip. So if x is equals to 20, we need to find what y is. Just substitute 20 here. We get 0 0.75 times 20 plus 2. And that gives me, uh, when you just multiply, 15, so 7.5 twice this. So that gives you 15 plus 2 or $17, correct? So, so y equals to $17. So what you see here is that it is not really double of 1950, correct? It is not really double of 1950. It is $1.70. So the answer is cost for 20 kilometer trip is $17, correct? So that is the first part of this question. Now, let us find the distance you can travel for $17. Well, uh -huh. it comes to the same thing anyway. So let me change this, okay? So cost for let's say $25. Okay, so we just change this. In that case, how are you going to answer? So now $25 is Y value. So basically we know Y is $25 you pay and X is what you need to find out. The equation is Y equals to 0.75X plus 2. So we'll place Y with 25 equals to 0 0.75 x plus 2 we need to isolate x so we do 25 minus 2 equals to 0 0.75 x and x will be equals to that is 23 divided by 0 0.75 right so let's use the calculator so we're 23 divided by 0 0.75 is equal to around 30.6, so it's 30.6 kilometers. So that much distance you can go for $20. So our answer is 30.6 kilometers, right? So that is how you could actually answer such questions. I hope the basic concept is clear. 
all such models or real life situation could be modeled as a linear function, linear relation as we did. Now here the rate corresponds to slope, base cost is the y-intercept and that helps you to get the equation. So I hope the concept is clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.